thought I would try to answer this question while I'm sitting here with hair color on my hair. I'm doing my color really quickly before I go home for the day. So for root smudging, I like to go typically as close to their natural color as possible. And this provides a really seamless grow out and a really nice blend. Let's say my client was a level five natural color and we highlighted her hair and I wanna go in and just smudge that little root line out. I usually would go in with the double fives, which is going to have a little more pigment to it. So I would do the 550. Oh, this is in my color line. Every color line will have a different system. Sometimes it'll say 5.00, and that would be your double neutrals. So it's going to have more pigment than just a 5.0, if that makes sense. I always root shadow in non-permanent color. So this would be with my demi-permanent or with five volume to make it a demi-permanent. A lot of color lines you can use their permanent color tube, but also pair it with five volume or low volume, which makes it more of a demi-permanent color. That would be my root shade. And then what I tone with down the hair strand really depends on how the hair strand lifts. If this color, then lifts really nice and let's say they want to be a level nine blonde and this person lift lifted really nicely and i can just do their root shadow which is close to their natural in a level five and then i can gloss with a level nine in whatever tone i want it to be so i can do ash or i can do gold or i can do beige or neutral sometimes then i only need to do one end gloss if if this client lifted really nice if they didn't lift that nice and there's like let's say it's lighter right through here because it was closer to the head and it's new hair growth and it was darker on the ends because they had old color i would need to mix up then two different formulas.